and welcome to episode 82 of the Aria Bark podcast. My name's Caroline and I'm coming to you today from my home in Fife in Scotland. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's great to have you here. Hope you're all well. It's been a while. Um, yeah, it's been a while. In that time, there has been numerous doctor's visits, a brief hospital stay, well, or no stay in my case, because I didn't. Yeah, things have not been great health-wise. Could have been a lot worse, but, yeah. What am I wearing? I am wearing, which I think might actually be back to front, but it's too late now. I am wearing my cornflower top which is 210-31 and it's by Drops Design. It is Knit and Drops Paris. Shade 100, which is light wash, which is like a light blue colour. That's what I've got on today because it's a bit chilly outside. This podcast is likely to be called Lots of Yarn because... Yeah, haven't been feeling great, so I bought myself lots of yarn. You can find me on Ravelry as either Aria Bark or my personal account, which is Sultra. We have our Ravelry group, which is Aria Bark Podcast. We've got an Instagram page, which is Aria Bark Designs. We have a Facebook page, which is Aria Bark Designs, which I don't use nearly as much as I should be. And we have a Kofi page, which is Aria Bark. It's not Aria Bark Designs, because I think I changed it to Aria Bark Podcast. I'll leave details. We are running two make-alongs at the moment. The first one is the hashtag ABP Stash Mash 2023. Starts on started on the first of January, ends on the thirty first of December. If it can be measured in meters, then it counts. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the next week along that we are running is the hashtag ABP Star Flanket K A L, and that's to make a star flanket. Um, I would like to say a massive congratulations to the lovely Anne who has finished her star flanket. I'll stick a picture in. <laughs> How stunning is that? It is absolutely gorgeous. So congratulations, Anne. Beautiful star flanket. I absolutely love the colours in that. There is still time to make one, if you're wanting to join in. You can get one done in a couple of months. You might not be able to knit much after finishing it in a couple of months. I think that's that's all we're making longs at the moment. This week we have coming in and lined up, going out, stash mash, naughty corner and whips. In this week's podcast we have knitting, crochet, yeah, just knitting and crochet. And timestamps for each section can be found in the description box. So, I might have done a thing. I have brought in a lot of yarn. Um, Not all of it is my fault. I was doing really well at one point. So I'll start with the normal one that I have every month. So, we have the lovely gorgeousness. From Mouse Witch Yarns. Love it. So, we have the July colourway. I've done a podcast at all in July. I don't know if I've already showed this. I've just gone and checked. I take it this must have come in just after we podcasted, hence why it's July. So, we have Year of Yarn for July. How pretty is that now my plan is to make 
Blair, I was sick of picture him, by Gold House of Yarn. Um, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. Modifications that I'll make to that pattern is I'm going to put in an integrated heel because that's the heel that I like. Um, I'll be making a UK size 5. Now, it does call for a 2.25mm needle. Got plenty of them. Yeah, so that's what this is going to be turned into. This one. How gorgeous is that? That's seriously, seriously pretty mandy. This is Garden Party. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with this. Um, I bought it. It was pretty. May have possibly had an idea what I was doing with it. But my memory's shocking. So this is still looking for a project. The next one. Look at that. This is Sunset at the Henge. This I have chosen to stick into a slip extravaganza. I'm meaning to get Ryan to have a look at my colours. But I'll show you. This goes with something else. So that's them. All these are the 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. They are stunning. Next, if you have watched Mandy from Mousy's Makes, a recent few podcasts, or Denise from Dear Designs, you will know our lovely friend Nancy, who is Kitty Scrapper on YouTube and on Instagram, led us down a very, very big rabbit hole. I had resisted. The ladies can attest I did resist until the lovely Heather decided on our group chat to stick a swatch in. Heather, it's your fault. You and Nancy, bad influence on me. So I may have per partaken in a corner. Or four. Or five. Or six. And I can't even reach that one. Or seven. Yeah. And a pack. So we'll start with the cones. These are all well, this one's fallen apart. These are all woolly knits, four ply acrylic, and we have. And I'm going to go through them as I've got them written because I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have got every single one of them attached to a project. Some of them attached to two projects. So. First of all, we have the Lemon Yellow. This one, and I'll stick a picture in. The plan for this is to do Tresoro by Isabel Kramer in this. But that's my plan. Um, I will be making a size 4, which is 44.75 inches. Is that right? No, it's not. That was the wrong one. Size 4, which is 46 inches or 115 centimetres. That is a paid-for pattern on Ravelry. It is either 6.50 euros... I don't know how euros work. We don't use euros. 
or £5.83. So that's just a plain four-ply top. So that's easy enough. That's going to be this one. Now, the next one that I'm going to be using... Now, I'm not going to use the full cone on that. I'm going to be left with some left over. So, the next one that I'm going to do is Night Groove. I'll stick a picture in. Again, that's by Isabel Kramer as well, because she had a sale on and I had to partake in that as well. Nancy gets the blame for that that too. Um, I am going to do the colour work yoke in this. And now I need to find the right one. This one. So this is Plum Purple. That's my plan to do then. Now, by my working out, I should have enough to make two garments out of these. I should have enough. So this one should get finished by those two projects. This one is going to be the main colour. Obviously, the yellow is going to be the yoke to finish that off. What's left of this and this one, this will be the main body. And what's left of this will be the yoke. And it's going to be cardoon by... Isabel Kramer again. Again, that is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. I'm trying to find it. There we go. I'm planning on making a size four, which is 46.5 inches. Now that one cop that's a DK. Mm, it's DK. That no, should be fine. I'm planning on holding these double weight self. So, I'm trying not to pull it. So, obviously, I'll be able to pull for the outside, pull for the inside. So, that is my plan. Cardoon is a paid for partner on Ravelry. It's six euros fifty or five pounds eighty three. So, that uses up this one. I'm Hoping that that finishes that off. This one is pink mallow. So I'm th hoping that that will finish that off. So it should be fine. I'm hoping. The next one is this one. This is called Oceanic Aqua. And the plan for this is to do the easy one by Hohi Locatelli. Now, that pattern calls for 16 inches of positive ease. Without being rude to any larger viewers, I do not need any garment with 16 inches of positive ease. I just don't. I am already getting lectured about my weight as it is quite happy with the weight that I am. However, I do not need anything making me look massive. There are certain parts of my anatomy that need their own postcode, like my backside. I have a big backside. It is what it is. I don't need anything oversized. It catches on stuff. It's just a colossal pain in my backside. So, I'm not doing it 16 inches. Um, I've got down that I'm doing the first size. I'll maybe have to go back and have a look and see what the second size is. And see how much bigger. I'm sure the second size is something like 58 inches. Right, I have had a look. The second size is 50 inches. Which is 8 inches bigger than what I need. So I may possibly 
to the setting size. Um, so that was in this one. Um, that calls that is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It is seven US dollars or five pounds seventy five ish. Um, it calls for a three point five millimeter needle. Again, it's four ply. So yeah, that's going to be this one. Next is the dark grey. This is going to be, I'll stick a picture in again. I don't know how to pronounce this. My brain's gone. Um, I'll stick a picture in, put the details up there. Again, that one's by Isabel Kramer. That is €6.50 or £5.83 on Ravelry. If there is anywhere else that any of these patterns are, I will link them down below. That one I'm doing a size 4, which is 46.25 inches or 116 centimeters it calls for a 3.2 and a 3.5 millimeter needle and this is dark gray that's it there it's just dark gray next we have this one this is cinnamon brown again Four ply acrylic, five hundred grams, two thousand two hundred and no two thousand three hundred and fifty meters approximately. This I am going to do the fractal sweater now. Sick picture in now. This is by Yarnia Designs or Hannah Notwell. My plan is now. I'll stick a picture in. I've set two pictures on actually, so I'll shift myself a wee bit. You can do it either is it seven different colours with a main stripe, a bit like this. Different colours with the same contrast colour, or you can do it all the same colour, as in this, so it'll be all the cinnamon brown with different contrast colours. Now, I need to check and see how many contrast colours I would need. I do still have unused 20 gram mini skeins laying about. I have the Bird Street yarn skeins that I bought from Nancy for the oh what was it called it's something cowl oddment cowl by helen stewart so i have some of them left and i've got other skeins dotted about that i could use so that is my plan for that the fractal sweater is a paid for pattern on ravelry is seven pounds not sure what that is in anybody else so if you're on ravelry it'll tell you how much it is in your currency so that's the plan for this one. And finally, well, it's not finally because I've got another two. I'm running out of space to put this. This, again, another Isabel Kramer pattern. This I am hoping to turn into the Forager Light by Isabel Kramer. Again, it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's €6.50 or £5.83-ish. I will be doing size 4, which is 44.75 inches. It's asking for a 3.25 and a 3mm needle. Clearly, I'm not going to be casting all these on at the same time. That's what this is going to be. Again, more than likely... Where's the forager? There, it's there. That's long sleeve. I'm going to keep that one long sleeved. Cardoon, more than likely going to be left long sleeved. Fractal sweater possibly going to be left long sleeved. Night groove probably going to be long sleeved. And sorrow, that's more than likely going to be short sleeved. But with slightly longer sleeves. Um, same way, could be a liar. I'll need to look up how to pronounce that. Um, again, that will probably end up being the normal sleeve length that I like is sitting 
run a bit here because it covers the old bingo wings and any bruises from getting my blood pressure taken. So that is the cones. Oh, geez, this is taking so long. Next, I purchased these. Now I've got 10 balls of these. I don't know why I brought two, I need one. This is Woolly Knits, four ply classic. It's 100% Merino. You get somewhere it tells you. There it is. 108 meters and 50 grams. This is, I'm sure, called candy. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Shade candy. This I am planning on making are uh, drops. Top, stick a picture in of what one it is. It is treble two dash four, which is yellow tulip. Um, that asks, it's a free pattern on Ravelry, before I forget. I will be making size three, which is 106 centimetres. It's asking for a three millimetre and a four millimetre needle. That's my plan. So that is all my purchases from Moolinet, which was four and a half kilos. No, four kilos. Yeah, because everything else brought up to 500 grams. Yeah. Oops. I'm not too concerned because I'm getting quite a few garments from them. So, my final purchase, and I'm blaming Mandy for this, is from sockyarnshop.com which is a lovely shop in Belfast and I purchased these. Now, these are Nipro Symphony Terra. This one is called Valentine. Can you see that? It's the name's there. This is Valentine. It is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 380 metres and 100 grams. So that's Valentine. And this one is called Jodhpur. Go. Jodhpur Blue. This and this. And it wasn't that one, it was this one. And this one. Oops. As well as a black that I've dyed up are going to be a slip stravaganza at some point. At some point. They will be a slip stravaganza. Now, at the moment, I think I've looked, I have 97 pretty sure it's 97 projects. They've got the pattern and the yarn all ready to go. All I need to do is make up a project bag. I think at some point I may possibly need to just start taking projects from that box and stop casting on with Wild Abandon. That box is now Without the cones going in, because they're having to be stored elsewhere, I have two Calyx boxes just full of projects waiting to go on the needles. Um, that includes socks. So, my plan is, I am going to start clearing off my needles. Um, I don't think... I may need to speak to Tonya from Karma's as such to find out when the next cast on party is going to be I need to start clearing off my needles because I'm wanting to get these projects done the yarn's been sitting some of 
the yarn's been sitting there for a good few years waiting to be started so that's my plan those are the projects that I'm going to start with this lot once I can get my needles cleared wish me luck now I'll do the first finished object which is my no, I'm just flinging yarn all over the place so this is wait a minute to figure out what side to watch a fake bamboo bag blanket as Mandy and I are calling it. What I've done, obviously I'd be marking, this is where you saw it last. I have done the full strips, I've done the full strip of the, the white, then I did the yellow, and then I thought, you know, I need to figure out exactly how long this is going to be. So what I've done is I have carried on up this side of the blanket my ends are all woven in I think pretty sure my ends are woven in no I've got one teeny tiny wee end that I forgot to weave in so I've done pretty sure that's 24 that's 24 squares and I may need to stand up and just check how big this is. It's way past my wingspan. I think when I'd originally planned it, the I think I'd said I was wanting it 96 inches. I don't think at the moment it's 96 inches. I'm trying to think where I've at the moment it's 76 inches so I need another 20 inches to go now these are roughly they're just over two and a half inches I'll possibly continue on to the 36 I think it was 36 squares that's my plan um, as you can see I have done quite a fair bit obviously we've got all these I am just putting my hand in and picking a square just checking that I've definitely got six I'm doing six by six squares obviously once they're blocked well they're not getting blocked they're getting washed um, if you are interested in what the yarns are, there will be a list. And that is that. I have managed to craft 169.45 grams. That's with both the undyed and the mini skein or 679.45 metres, which is great. I'm keeping track aware um obviously once I know exactly how big I'm wanting it to be I'll then go back and start filling in the middle part so yeah that's this one I can move this up to that's that one in so yeah, I'm just going to keep working away on this. You'll see it at some point. My next finished object is my eyelid burst. Now, this hasn't been blocked. So it's still... It's not got its full shape yet. This was where it was the last time you saw it. I was here, so I was nearly finished. Did get the bind off, it was horrendous. Not as bad as the eyelet burst. Eh, the eyelet burst, this is the eyelet burst. Not as bad as the star flan kit, but still a bit of an epic cast off. So yeah. I have used it a few times. 
it sits quite nicely around my shoulders when it's been a bit chilly. So yeah. Yeah, we kinda get up without knocking everything everywhere. We'll see. Right now this is where it's sitting. I literally just at the top of my back. Now, do I have the yarns? I never brought the yarns for me. What am I putting? The first one, this is all just checking mouse witch yarns. This one is Rainy. I used 82.04 grams or 328.16 meters. The next one is this one here. This is April Showers. I used 77.25 grams or 309 meters. The next one is this lovely one here, which is after the rain. For this, I used 82.62 grams or 330.48 meters. And the last one is this one, which is sunshine. That I used 78.43 grams or 313.72 metres. It was knit on a 3.5 millimetre drops classic on a 100 centimetre. Cord and this will go into Mandy's Mousy's Stephen West Marathon because that is another one that I've finished. Absolutely loved it. However, at points, I'm going to apologise for that noise out there. I don't know what it is, but it's irritating. And possibly the post they come in the door again. I like this one. However, I would quite like one just on one colour. Now, in total, I used 320.34 grams or 1,960.81 metres. It's a fair size. Obviously, it will get considerably bigger once it's been blocked. I wouldn't mind one in all one colour. Now, that was a what, a four? One, two, three... Four skeins. And I did have decent sized nuggets left. Obviously, I think the most that I used was just over 80 grams. Yeah, 82 grams. So that's like 12 grams left. I'm considering making another one. Um, I do have mini skeins. Mini skeins? Mini skeins? No mini skeins. I don't have... Well, I have got mini skeins, but... That's not what I was talking about. Start again. I do have undyed skeins there that I could dye up. So, that could be a plan. There might be another one coming. And just all one colour. And that way, I can just knit and knit and knit and knit and knit. So, this episode, I have used 489.79 grams and 1,281.36 metres. It's not too bad. I had kind of hoped that I would have had more finished, but my knitting mojo's just dropped off a cliff. But it is what it is. Something is better than nothing. As you remember, I had cast on, I was stick a picture in, 213-22, which was the Lavender Charm top. This, that cast on would have been about the fourth time I had cast on that top. I get to the same part in the pattern. It's a free pattern. Now, in it, at a certain stage in the yoke pattern, they have you offset a couple of stitches. The minute it asks me to do that, every single time, it just goes ski with. So I'd got to that part again, done it, never worked, ripped it back, 
done it again. All my stitch counts and everything were right. Done it again. Went wrong again. I was like, do you know what? I've had enough. And I was like, I'm just done. So one night, it was either one, it was one night on Zoom. I had a complete party and I was like, I'm, I'm finished. I don't know why it keeps going wrong. I'm done. Sat and ripped it out. So, that was on the naughty corner because I was trying to fix it. I eventually just got ticked, at that, ticked off with it that I just decided to stuff it um, and rip the lot it out. So that is no more. However, you will see the yarn. I have decided that obviously I need to keep my blood pressure down. So obviously working on patterns that are stressing me out just it's no good for me let's be honest it's no good for me right now over the next few weeks you will now see that i'm going for i wouldn't say easier simpler knitting projects where i can enjoy the knitting without having three different charts and that's my plan we'll see how long it lasts My first whip is using the yarn from the Lavender Charm Top. Now, this again is a drops design. Now, I need to try and find where the front of this is. This is it here. Now, if we've got it on a 32 inch cord, which doesn't help. However, this is it here. I have managed to get the entire yoke, which is there, plus all my raglan increases done. And I am literally at the stage, I am one stitch away from taking the sleeves off. This pattern... Sorry, I should say. I will apologise for being all over the place. I feel really dopey. Um, this is pattern number 213-8, which is Summer Halo. It's by Drops Design. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Obviously, I am doing absolutely no justice whatsoever because it's all scrunched up on the needle. It is a really, really nice top. It has been, I've just dropped stitches. And I've lost my stitch marker. Perfect. I don't know where my safety donuts are. I think they're actually on the desk. Sarah, you can shout at me later. So that is it here. Um, I am using, I am going to put this down and stop waving it about. I will get my safety donuts put back on very, very shortly. I am using Drops Muscat. It is shade number, and I need to jiggery poke this label a bit. You can see that, shade number four, which is lilac. It is 100% cotton. You get 100 meters and 50 grams. It's just a cotton. I have put in, I am on the fourth 50 gram ball, so that's two, nearly 200 grams I've put in. And I only started that, it wasn't that long ago. I'm trying to think when I started it. On the 27th. So less than a week. And I've managed to get down to the sleeves. That was after I done the majority of the raglan increases and realised that I'd been putting eyelets in all the way down and I'd happened to look at the picture and I was like that top doesn't have eyelets all the way down the raglan so I had to wrap it all back out again and redo the raglan increases finished them last night which means that just leaves me to cast the sleeves off, do the body, 
no cast the sleeves off. Put the sleeves on hold, do the body, and I think at that point what I might do is put the fourth, finish the fourth ball off, then do both the sleeves, because I'm going to do the sleeves the same length down to right about here. Then pick it back up and whatever's left I'm just going to put in the body. So that's the plan. I am doing size extra large, which is a hundred and six centimeters or forty one point forty one and three quarter inches. My gauge is bang on. I'm not wanting it overly big. The problem I've got with these tops is the tend to fall off my shoulders. So I'm wanting it to sit on my shoulders and no keep sliding off. Obviously the fact that it's cotton it's gonna grow. I know it's gonna grow, I'm fine with that. Is there anything else I need to tell you? It's a free pattern on Ravelry. It's not a free pattern on Ravelry, it's a free pattern on the drops website. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter for the ribbon and then a four millimeter for everything else. Yeah. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. The yoke pattern, simple. It's just a simple, let's see if you can see it. Eyelets, increases and decreases and it's really nice. And then the rest it's just stop and stitch all the way. It's a nice pattern. I'm really enjoying this one. I think my next job is to count all my stitches, make sure that I've got the correct stitch count, then put the sleeves on hold, pick up for the body, put that in. That's just a new ball that I've, I haven't no long started. Um, finish that off and then what I'll do is I'll do the two arms together. That's my plan. With You never know, but the next time I podcast, this may possibly be done. Because it is a really, really, really nice knit. So that's my first whip. Because I haven't been feeling great, all I've done is worked on blankets. So, I'd originally done the Battenberg blanket. The problem that I have is I keep losing vision, obviously. I'm already partial sighted in both my eyes. I am taking horrific migraines. Now, what day was it? Monday, I took a migraine. On Tuesday, Andrew had an appointment which he had to cancel because I still, despite the fact that I had this migraine about half 11, 12 o'clock at night, by half past nine the next morning, I still didn't have proper vision in that eye. So I'm needing stuff that I can work on, but I don't have to concentrate and look at what I'm doing. So the poor fake Battenberg got ditched and I put out this now this hasn't been seen in a long time and who knew I'm in the girl this is another project that I'm going to have to measure to see I don't even think I put a size on this right this is taking me too long and it would be the side that I'm needing this is Excavation by Yana or Jana, I'm not entirely sure which it is. Pihota. It who is something tap in my tongue. Hypnit Hypnotizer. I'll leave the details up here. This is just a scrappy blanket. It is a Free pattern on Ravelry. You do some jiggery pokery at the beginning. On the right side, you do some jiggery pokery at the beginning of the wrong side. 
and then you literally just tie the strands together. This blanket may possibly be a bit wonky. I'm just using any scraps. Now I've got three not magic knot balls. And I'm just going between the three of them. I'm liking how it's coming out. I'm using any scraps that I have at all. I think the highest weight that I go up to is a DK. The edges are going to be a bit wonky, but I don't care. This is a nice one for just sitting in knitting. and it takes absolutely no concentration whatsoever. I can just sit and knit to the end. The only thing I wish I'd done, I have gone up. This was supposed to be knitting a 2.75 millimetre needle. I've gone up to a 3 because my tensions went really, really tight. It's a scrap blanket. It's, let's be honest, it's not going to be spectacular. The can't, chances are the cats are going to get their claws, claws caught in it. Patch will probably chew through it because he's still in that stage. Um, have I even got to the bit where I was before? Yeah, I'm nearly there. So this... Where is it? There, it's there. This was where I was the last time you saw it. I've done a fair bit. Um, I'm just going to keep going until such times as I deem it's big enough. Again, probably going to be around the 60, 70 inch mark. Obviously, once you're finished increasing out because you basically work it like this so it's constantly going out you will eventually bring it back in and then your fringe will be on the opposite side and that is my plan i'm just going to keep carrying on with this you'll see it eventually it'll be back out at some point um i think i'm still a fair bit away so I finally got to the other end of the row. So here it is. Let's see if I can get it in. I absolutely love this. And obviously the bottom end is just going to be wonky as anything. Because I have went up a needle size and I'm using a whole load of different yarn weights. So yeah. And that is that one. I'm just going to keep carrying on with this. It's at 33 inches the now. Um, so I'm about halfway there. I'll need it at least 60, 70 inches. So I will just keep trundling away. It's not like I don't have five million minis. Let's be honest. My next whip. Fun times have not been had with this project. This is, I'll do it for this side. This is The Fragmentation Show by Stephen West. This was where I was the last time you saw it. I have finished section two. I had got all the way up to here and realised that I'd been slipping it the wrong way. I've done it here but it's, this shawl is not going to be pretty. I'm kind of hoping that when I block it, it may possibly work out but at this point I don't care. Problems I'm having with this shawl. Now this isn't a difficult part. You should be off by one. When you start a new colour, start a new edge, you drop this colour. So wedge four will start with, with Denise's yarn down here for me. 
it's no difficult. It's a seven ridge repeat. Every few rows you do a bit of jiggery pokery. It's not difficult. This has been in and out like a fiddler's elbow. I'd ripped it back because I'd slipped, I'd joined it on wrong. So I had this weird ridge running all the way up it. Cast it back cast it back on then Tonya, Mandy and I were having a discussion about it and Tonya had thought wouldn't it be easy if we could just cast it all on and do it in stages it'd be fantastic so I tried that it didn't work because you end up it was a whole thing that was twice in the same week for me and Mandy where we realised that a nice wee hack wouldn't work in two separate projects so I've been doing it all the way up, I randomly just skip a colour. Now I'd got up to here and realised that I'd completely missed this colour out and it was off again. So this has been relegated to the bottom of the pile until I start having a bit more concentration. It doesn't take a lot of concentration, it is really easy to knit on. I just keep forgetting where I am. Um, I'm not going to run through the colours because you've seen it a hundred times. I'm going to keep... I'm going to try and do at least a couple of rows of this a day. Unless there's some major progress in it, I'm not going to keep showing it. The Fragmentation Show is a paid-for pattern on Ravelry. It is six... You can buy it either as an individual pattern or it comes as part of the Modular Colour and Shawls ebook. The shawl on its own is six euros or five pounds fifty-five ish, or the ebook is thirty-six euros or about thirty-three pounds thirty-three pence. You can purchase that either from Ravelry or on the West Nets website. I am using the recommended three point seven five millimeter needle. And I need to get my finger out because I can't cast on in any more Stephen West until I get this finished. This will be part of Mandy from Mousy's Makes Stephen West Marathon. For that make along, if you are interested, have a look on Mandy's Ravelry group. In there... The rules are you have to make one Stephen West pattern from Mandy's list. Now, mine... I need to check with Mandy whether that does actually count or not. If it doesn't matter because I've got several patterns that Mandy's made ready to be cast on. Um, one for Mandy's list and any others that you like, um, but they must be started this year. You probably won't see this again for a wee while until I've made some serious progress. Um, this will block out. Obviously, it's scatter stitch. It's going to block. It's going to be massive. It's going to be awesome. If I can just get it finished. So that's that one. My final whip is another one that I cast on on Tonya's cast on party. And I have done very little. Well, I'm not sure I've done a fair bit. This is the Calibrate by Alex Doc. So this was where I was the last time you saw it. I am now down. I'm still doing the raglan increases right now. The issue I've got with this, and I've just had... Like, it shows you just how bad my brain is. The issue that I've had is the constant flipping backwards and forwards to remember what I'm doing. However, the easiest option would have been to just print out the list in the pattern. You put in your measurements and you get told what parts go where. It's a bit like a plug and play pattern. It's really good. So... I'm constantly flipping every time. It would just be easier to print that page out. Honestly, that is 
the level of my concentration. So I've done this amount. I am using, I don't even have a ball band. But that's my first ball. I've got another four. This is Pound Stretchers My Baby Speckle. This is the colourway number six, which is, I see it better here when it's knit up. It's got mint greens. It's got a light, light blue colour. I know the camera makes it look white. It's not. It's like a light, light blue. And you've got speckles. This is just for sitting about the house. It's not going to be a going out top. It's just for lazing about the house when I'm jelly. Calibrate is 200 Norwegian crones. Or £15.61. However, once you've got the measurements, you can make about 5 million different tops with different modifications. And So that's this one. I'm knitting it on a 4mm Knit Pro Mindful Cable. And it's 100% acrylic. I think that's it. I will apologise for this being all over the place. I am getting an inkling that I'm about to have another migraine. So apologies that this has been washed and apologies for the length of time I've been away. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for their kind messages. Um, I want to say a huge get well soon to three my ladies. Heather, Love you to bits. Nancy, you as well. Seriously, the needles are being sharpened as we speak. And the lovely Mandy, who are all not feeling their best right now. Send them big hugs. I would be very grateful if you liked and subscribed to the video. Um, I will promise I will try to get more consistent. Um, I'm just fine. Um, Ryan's fine. Patch is free to a good home. Actually, Patch is just free. Doesn't have to be a good home. That dog is driving me demented. Aria is still the perfect little angel. Aren't you, Bubs? Aren't you? You're the perfect pooch. You coming up to see the lovely peoples? Come and see the lovely peoples. Up. Are you this way? There she is. You're just a good girl, aren't you, Aria? You're such a good girl. She's such a good girl. Aren't you? Show the peoples what Patch has done to you. He's made you all grey. Eh? You've gone all grey. I know he's a nightmare. Poor Aria. Tell the lovely peoples he's forever got your face in his mouth. He keeps chewing on your face. You're such a good girl. Um, I am hoping to get back on to a more regular schedule. This is likely going to be a long one. I'm going to try and bring it down a bit. Um, I think Ari and I are going to have some lunch. So I hope you have a very, very crafty few weeks and we'll see you back here again soon. Bye!